how the frequency division happens. You have T flip-flop, the input is tied with one. Always remember, if you, if you tie the T input with one, the output of T flip-flop is going to toggle continuously at every clock edge, at every clock edge. So here, this is the clock. Initially, the output is zero. Look at here. At the clock edge, the output toggles. In the next clock edge, the output toggles from 1 to 0 like this. Look at here. Now, you compare the frequency of this output with the frequency of the clock. Here, the clock period is 10 nanosecond. So, frequency of the clock is 1 by 10, which is equal to 100 MHz. You know how to calculate the clock frequency. Now, you calculate the frequency of this output. The time period of the output Q0 is 20 nanosecond. So the frequency of Q0 is 1 by 20, 20 nanosecond, which is equal to 50 megahertz. So here, the frequency of this Q0 is 1 by 2 of the frequency of the clock. This is how T flip-flop divides the clock frequency. Now let's look at asynchronous counter. How to design three bits down counter using positive edge triggered flip-flop. T flip-flop, the input is tied with one. You are giving clock. The output is going to toggle like this. This is what we discussed in the last slide. So here, if you look at this Q0, it's going to toggle at every passage of the clock. This is positive edge trigger T flip-flop. Now, I am connecting this Q0 with the clock input of the next flip-flop. So this Q0 is going to act as clock for the next flip-flop, and that's also T flip-flop. Now, if you look at Q1, it's going to toggle at every passage of Q0. All right? Now, you calculate the frequency of Q0. Look at here. That's equal to frequency of the clock divided by 2. Now, if you calculate the frequency of Q1, that's equal to frequency of Q0 divided by 2. Now, you are connecting this Q1 with the clock input of the next flip-flop. See what happens. Q2 is going to toggle at every passage of Q1. Look at here. This is how Q2 is going to toggle. Now, you calculate the frequency of Q2, which is equal to frequency of Q1 divided by 2. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.